keep up the fantastic work. You should be so proud of yourself. Once you start developing this daily habit of investing into your personal development, it's the greatest investment that you'll ever make. Investment into your personal development turns into huge growth. Remember, you attract success by the person you become. As you become more, you attract more. Isn't that worth just 15 to 30 minutes a day invested into you? Awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to look at is we're going to answer the question, how are you going to create awareness? So we're looking at future customers now, because obviously our existing customers are aware of who we are, but we might still use this concept if we're going to go to existing customers where we've identified cross and upselling opportunities. So we may use this process. So don't discount it completely with existing customers. You could use it to acquire new business. In other words, identify, or should I rather say, you've identified cross and upselling opportunities, but create awareness with your customer about the opportunity, the benefits, the advantages that by choosing you as a cross and upselling uh, opportunity or choosing one of your cross and upselling opportunities, it's going to put them in a better position. So don't discount it completely for existing customers, but this is mainly driven towards future customers, okay? So with future customers, you need to use social media. Now, remember, as, as, a, <laughs> as attractive as it might be, to use this as a spray and pray strategy, and there's place for a, a, a spray and pray strategy. So I'm not saying don't create a generic big message and put it on a LinkedIn group where you know your customers hang out because uh, any leads are lead, right? As long as they are part of your tribe, those leads are also worth attracting. But what we're talking about, the real power of a multi-channel communication strategy or piece of that called social selling is around targeting. So we're going to focus our efforts on our magnificent 50. So we know who they are, we can research them, we can understand who the customer is, down to the point, you see, a lead magnet could be, in, in the case of my business, I could give them a free module, you know. So as I say, you can say, try this module before you buy this module. So, so it's easy for me because my product is a service driven product and the cost of delivering it to my customer is pretty low. Well, or, or, or nothing, right? But in the case of someone who's got very high value products, let's say for example, you've got a 20, 30,000 rand gearbox or something, it's going to be really difficult for you to provide that free to, to, to a customer, right? As a, as a lead magnet. But that's where you've got to allow those creative juices to flow. You see, we get to know people. So building awareness about who we are, it also, you can add value. So you'll get to know maybe, and, and I'm really going laterally here, right? Is you could find out, for example, that uh, the, the customer loves fly fishing. Now, we've got a little, a little package that we use that goes onto the internet and it searches like a little spider and it picks up articles on a subject, so let's say tennis, fly fishing, whatever it might be, and then it puts it all together and it binds it into a magazine. It's a really cool little product. You could send that as a, you know what, I, I know who you are and here is something to show I appreciate you and I appreciate your business. You see, it's, it's no cost, right? There's no cost to it. But in the hands of that person who loves fly fishing or loves tennis or motorcycle riding or whatever it might be, it's a really powerful tool. So what I'm saying here is I get that it's going to be difficult for you possibly to use what we refer to as a, a lead magnet to attract a customer where you're going to give something away for free. That's where you've got to figure out what information, resources, um, what else can you use that is free or very low cost? You see, you've got to understand we are trying to appreciate our customers. We're not trying to bribe our customers. So this is not about providing your future customers with some kind of very expensive gift, but it's rather about providing your customers or showing your customers that you know their business, you understand their challenges, and you understand their challenges so well, in fact, that here is some information, some data, some support that is going to help you to better manage or deal with those challenges. So 
we've, we've got what we call a lead magnet, which is to attract. So obviously, I mean, it, it, it's, it's in the name, a lead magnet. So we're using this. Think very, very laterally here. What can you do in your market, in your industry, with your specific customers? Remember, we write down to our magnificent 50 or your magnificent whatever number you feel comfortable making sure that you can provide that level of customization and tailoring. So you understand what that is. Think about, we need to do something. So even if that something is identifying their specific challenge that they're experiencing and then providing them with relevant data, information, support, because think about it, if you send somebody an email or you um, connect with someone on their social channels, but it's related to a challenge. I'm going to use a, a really crazy example. Let's say um, your tires, you're looking for four new tires on your car. And you, that morning, you see on your social media um, a, a really special lifetime guaranteed tires. Man, you'd absolutely open that email. You'd absolutely read that 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 link in your feed. Why? Because it relates to something that is relevant to you. And that's the power of this process. It connects who you are, or should I rather say, what your specific challenges are, to your solution. In other words, this is what the challenge is, this is what we see as the solution, because you're experiencing that challenge at that time, that will create awareness and it'll start the conversation, you'll possibly get a call from them, or they'll mail you, or they'll become aware of you, so that when your next piece of material, your next bit of marketing material goes through to them, they're going to go, where have I seen this company before? So as the process goes on, you've created awareness, and the customer has already started to go, these guys are showing some kind of expertise, which is amazing, right? So, the next thing you want to talk about, so once you've got your lead magnet, the next one is a tripwire. A tripwire could be in the case of, let's talk about gearboxes, for example. You've now got the awareness. Customers are aware of you. They, they starting to see you as the expert in the market. Now, what you can do with a tripwire is you could go in and you could say, okay, so let's run a trial, for example. We'll come in and we'll give you the gearbox at cost, for example, or at a, at a, at a really, really good price to prove it can work or man if you could do this if you had this much confidence in your products and you could say we'll supply it for free we're so confident that it'll work that it'll do what it says it'll do we're so confident we'll give it to you free but once it works then and only then do you pay for it so can you see you've taken away risk the guy's going well there's zero risk if it doesn't work it doesn't work but you've got your foot through the door. And that's the important thing. So think about lead magnets. Lead magnets are generally um, something you can give away for free. It must be free, right? And it's got to be related to the challenge the person's having or something that's of value or important to them. Next, we talk about a tripwire. A tripwire is providing your product, your service, starting to prove you can do it but earning the right. And imagine if you can earn the right and remove the risk, customers will buy from you with confidence.